Well, hello and welcome to Marketplacer. My name is Les Jackson and I'm a developer advocate here at Marketplacer. Now in today's very quick video, I'm going to be taking through the APIs and webhooks that we make available to developers to allow them to integrate seamlessly into the Marketplacer platform. Now just before we talk about the APIs, let's just quickly clarify what we mean by Marketplace. And quite simply, Marketplace is where sellers and customers can come together to transact and Marketplacer enables that to happen. And the APIs that we offer help enable and facilitate those transactions and the use cases of both of those parties. All right, so the APIs that we offer, we offer two. The first one, not surprisingly, is the seller API. And we offer that to sellers, or more correctly, the marketplace operator can offer that to the sellers on the marketplace. And it allows them to basically automate all the processes and all the things that a seller would typically want to do on a marketplace. And we'll talk a bit more about what those are on the next slide. The second API we offer is the Marketplace Wide API, and the intended audience of that API is really just the marketplace operator, the person who runs or the organization that runs the marketplace. You would not give this API to your sellers, for example, and the reason for that is it basically gives you access to everything on the marketplace. The main use case for this API can be used for a number of things, but the main use case that we see more often than not is when people want to build or operators want to build their own web front end, as opposed to using the marketplace or one, uh, which we call headless, uh, building your own front end from scratch, or connecting in to an existing front end and building an integration using this API that will allow you to integrate into an existing front end and we call that connected. Now you can also see on screen here, there's a third sort of option, which is technically also connected and that is the use of a connector. So no software development required, you just connect into an existing front end and connect it to Marketplace and it can use the API as well. I'm not going to talk too much about that today though, but fundamentally the takeaway point here is that the Marketplace API allows you to build your own front end or integrate into an existing one. The final thing you can see on screen here is webhooks. Now, unlike APIs which are more of a request methodology, webhooks are more of a push notification type setup. So the idea being that a consumer of a webhook will subscribe to a particular event and when that event occurs, on the marketplace or platform, we will push that to you. And by consumer, in this case, I mean the operator of the marketplace or a seller on the marketplace, not a customer of the marketplace. All right, so a bit more detail of the seller API. It allows sellers to, of course, create products, update products, delete products, it allows them to get stock holdings of those products, it allows them to retrieve the orders that have been placed, It'll allow them to uh, update dispatch notification on those orders. All that kind of stuff can be automated through the seller API. And again, gives sellers just a view of their data. And for the technologists out there, it's a REST-based API. Now there's a lot more information on our website, which will uh, flash up in a minute, uh, where you can find out much more information about this particular API. The Marketplace API, just to kind of recap, used predominantly to build out a new front end, a headless front end, or connecting to an existing front end. Gives you access to all the data on the Marketplace, so again, it's intended only to be used by the Marketplace operator. And then, again, for the technologists out there, it's a GraphQL-based API. And again, plenty of information on our website will tell you how to connect in and use this API. And then just to recap on webhooks, yeah, again, real-time or near real-time push notifications to an endpoint of the operator's choosing or the seller's choosing. So it operates at both yeah, the operator level and the seller level. And you can subscribe to a whole range of events related to a whole range of objects from things like product changes to order changes, uh, shipment changes, all that kind of stuff. And you can define the payloads as well that you get delivered to you. It's highly, highly configurable. Fantastic. So hopefully you found that useful. It was just a very high level positioning video to tell you what APIs we have, what the webhooks do generally. If you want more information, yes, please visit our website at api.marketplacer.com. Until our next video, thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.